These large circles visible from the air in Brazil's heartland are irrigated crops, symbols of Brazil's powerful agribusiness industry that illustrate the country's continued deforestation of the Cerrado, a savanna-like ecosystem that spans a large territory in central Brazil, while deforestation in the Amazon dropped by 50% in 2023, devastation in the Cerrado grew by 43%. Much of it is legal, as Brazil's forest code stipulates that properties in the Cerrado only need to retain 20% of the original vegetation cover as natural reserves, compared to 80% in the Amazon. This environmentalist explains there's been a trade-off. Over the years, authorities played a loser game in the Cerrado to compensate for tighter laws in the Amazon despite its key role in balancing the environment across the country. The Cerrado is the heart of waters of Brazil. So without the Cerrado, we will have problems with energy power generation, we will have problems for agriculture uh, viability, and we will also have problems for provision of water in big cities. So why is it not as valued as the Amazon? Why does not draw as much attention as the Amazon? I wish I, I have this answer, but there's something uh, that we have been looking that is uh, most of the civil society, most of society's view is over forests, tropical forests. The Cerrado is being put as the biome of sacrifice to protect the Amazon. Brazil's deputy environment minister admits the situation in the Cerrado is dramatic, but says the government has been taking remedial action. At the end of the year, we launched the Cerrado Deforestation Prevention and Control Plan. It's a very broad, interesting and ambitious plan that has several effects going beyond just command and control, but also includes actions to encourage the maintenance of native vegetation. Brazil's Cerrado region has become a crucial area for the country's agricultural production, and increasing the productivity of farms can be an important strategy to boost output without the need to clear new land. SLC Farming Group is among the major producers of corn, soy and cotton in the state of Goiás. They claim to be practicing regenerative agriculture, which employs techniques to keep the soil highly productive. One strategy is the use of so-called cover crops. These are plants that help to restore and protect soil in between farming seasons. As an agronomist, I support this practice and I see that it is possible anywhere. It just requires the producer to have this awareness, understand these processes and see the viability within their business. Much of the devastation in the Cerrado is legal, yet government intervention may be key to stopping it. Voluntary action by farmers seems unlikely when they are profiting from the destruction. Compounding this irony, over the long term, protecting the Cerrado may be the only way to ensure the survival of their farms. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Cristalina, Brazil.